Today on Forbes, tech darling Palantir mints two more billionaires in post-election surge. Palantir co-founder and venture capitalist Joe Lonsdale saw Donald Trump's re-election as president earlier this month as a win for the United States. Lonsdale, who helped Elon Musk raise money for Trump through the America PAC, wrote on X on November 5th, quote, It's morning again in America. In another post on X, he wrote, quote, Daddy's home. It's also a win for Lonsdale. Although he hasn't worked at Palantir since 2009, Forbes estimates that he still owns a stake in the company, which he recently called part of a, quote, new prime of defense companies that are excited about a second Trump presidency. Thanks to a combination of growth and fervor, Palantir's share price has shot up more than 50% since election night. That jump coincided with Palantir's strong quarterly earnings report, in which it reported a 40% increase in revenue from U.S. government customers, and a new government contract drove the company's quarterly revenue to an all-time high of $726 million. Palantir's stock price surge has made Lonsdale and his co-founder, Stephen Cohen, both 42 years old, new billionaires. Per Forbes estimates, Lonsdale is worth $1.6 billion and Cohen $2.3 billion. Aside from Lonsdale's estimated 1% stake in Palantir, worth about $1 billion, he has investments in software and defense companies through his venture firm, 8VC, plus cash from selling shares in February of several companies 8VC has backed, including OpenGov, which he also co-founded. Cohen's billions, meanwhile, come from his 1.5% stake in Palantir, plus an estimated $175 million from selling stock over the past four years. Neither responded to requests for comment from Forbes. Last month, Lonsdale answered a question on the podcast Big Deal about whether billionaires should exist by saying, quote, very self-serving arguments I have to make. After emphasizing that he pays, quote, a lot of taxes, he added, quote, the return you get from the relatively small amount of money controlled by billionaires versus the amount of money controlled by big institutions, to me, is just obviously much higher. Palantir co-founders Peter Thiel and Alex Karp hold larger stakes in the company and have long been billionaires. Karp, who is CEO, joined the Forbes 400 list of richest Americans this year, which had a cutoff of minimum net worth at $3.3 billion. And unlike Thiel and Lonsdale, Karp backed Kamala Harris's candidacy for president. Karp told the New York Times in August that Thiel's pro-Trump stance had made things harder for Palantir at times. Lonsdale and Cohen followed similar early paths to success. They both worked full-time for Thiel's hedge fund, Clarium Capital, while or just after studying computer science as undergraduates at Stanford. Lonsdale also interned at PayPal in 2002, where he met Thiel and Elon Musk. He and Cohen were both editors-in-chief of the Stanford Review, the campus paper with a conservative libertarian bent that Thiel had earlier founded. Thiel, Lonsdale, Cohen, and Karp, along with Nathan Geddings, founded Palantir in 2003, around the time Cohen and Lonsdale graduated from college. Not an easy task while starting up a new venture. In a Stanford talk in 2013, Cohen said, quote, in my last quarter at Stanford, Tuesday through Thursday, I didn't sleep. I would literally just work. Cohen added that he sustained himself on near daily 3 a.m. visits to Denny's and a sense of deep resonance with the work he was doing. He said, quote, honestly, it felt natural at the time. Cohen still works at Palantir as president and secretary after a long stint as a vice president who interviewed every prospective employee, up to 50 a week. Meanwhile, Lonsdale left Palantir in 2009. In a Bloomberg podcast, he recalled, quote, This defense stuff is really stressful. However, he re-entered the sector through 8VC a few years later. For full coverage, look out for our Forbes Talks video and check out Phoebe Lou's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.